Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be there. Okay, if you guys are interested in my book, the information will be in the description box below as well. There's an Amazon link straight to it. All right, you guys, um, let's go ahead and get started on your reading. This is whatever spirit wants um, you guys to know. Damn, that's wrong. All right, so please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below. I do like to interact with every single one of you guys, so let me know if this resonated, where you're tuning from. Okay, if you could hear me, smash that like button. If you could see me, smash the like button. Okay, and let's go ahead and get started on your reading. All right, so let's see what we've got for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Angel guys, spirit guys of good, love, and light. Help me channel the messages for Aquarius. Whatever it is that you want Aquarius to know at this time. All right, so. That was quick. All right, so first card showing up, you got talking. Okay, so somebody is wanting to talk to you. Okay, interested, awaiting a message, text, calls, email, talking more. Okay, so, but look at the picture. It's almost like these two people are in the reverse, okay? And then the description is in the upright. So, for some of you, you guys are not talking to your person, okay? Or you guys are marrying each other. Somebody here um, is losing interest because there's no communication, all right? Somebody here is waiting for you to message them, and you could be waiting on them to message you, all right? So, this is like kind of like marrying... I'm getting a lot of marrying energy here with that talking. All right, for some of you, there's somebody that needs to talk. All right, so can't make it up. Marrying. Okay, so a lot of you guys could be marrying your divine counterpart. All right, you're very attracted to them. You got seduction here. You're very attracted to them and stuff like that, but you guys are marrying each other. This has to do with pride and ego. I'm sorry. Um, but marrying each other, self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. Okay, some of you um could be dealing with your inner wounds and fixing your inner wounds kind of like healing from that and so are they because you guys are mirroring each other so both of you guys could be doing the same thing all right i got andrew a day on the um playing on the background rise up okay so that could be significant rise up all right you guys are rising up All right, you got here the butterfly. You guys could be seeing a lot of butterflies. Butterflies signify transformation, you guys. So you're evolving, all right? That talks about growth, all right? You're going to the next phase, all right? It says here, healing inner child, releasing the past. So you guys could be releasing your inner wounds, okay? Especially with um, the mirroring. So maybe you were with somebody that made you transform the way you even thought about things, okay? But at the same time, yeah, death is the ending, Okay, you're going through some sort of transformation. This relationship is over. Okay, no second chances. Grow, transform, and what's dead is dead. All right, you guys are coming to terms with that. All right, cut down. Somebody is cutting out separation. Stop the pattern, silent treatment. So one of you guys is definitely doing the side. I'm sorry, I take that back. Both of you guys could be giving the silent treatment to you both, to each other with the mirror. Okay, so you guys are mirroring each other. So if you guys are not talking, you guys are not talking. All right, but... Somebody here is coming to terms with the situation and they're putting an end to that shit, right? Scorpio energy with this, um, the butterfly transformation, Scorpio energy again. Okay, so Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the mirror. All right, talking has to do with communication. So Aquarius Libra Gemini, all right? For some of you, you're the ones that are not talking to this person, all right? Angel guys, spirit guides of good love and light for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Not enough. Okay, somebody does not feel enough for you. All right, frustrated in the relationship. Uh, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear and ego issues and jealousy. So this is a person who might feel like they're not enough for you or you might feel they're not enough for you. You know, you know that this person doesn't have what you are looking for, but at the same time, there's a lot of fear and ego here. Okay, you want to give this person a chance, but at the same time, it's almost like they're not, it's not happening. You guys are marrying each other. You're two alike. Okay, some of you don't want to hear that, but that could be a significant, yeah, separation. Okay, so that's the reason why you guys separated. All right, sadness missing you. They're definitely in deep regret with the mirror here, marrying each other, self-reflection. Both of you could be going through this. Both of you could be going through this at this time. All right, so thinking about you, yearning unsure of the future i'm 
to pull some. What do you? What does um, your person want to say to you? Okay, so. All right, you got engagement ring. Okay, with the butterfly. Yeah, that ended. All right, so partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union, and then you have addiction. Somebody could have been very possessive. You could have been dealing with the Capricorn. Okay, but very possessive, very obsessive over you. Okay, um, let's see here. Yes. All right. What does your person want to say to you? What does your person want to say to you? Spirit, angel guys, spirit guides, good and light. What does Aquarius's person want to say? Or what are they feeling towards the Aquarius? I am becoming a better person. See, so I believe that. I do believe that. That this person could be doing the healing work. If you're doing the healing work, they're doing the healing work. Okay, because you're both marrying each other. Okay, I am becoming a better person. All right, what else? You don't know how hard it is, how hard it was to let you go. Okay, so for some of you, this is a divine counterpart. This person still loves you. Okay, but this relationship, you're coming to terms with it. It's been too long. Or somebody here has been waiting way too long. Okay, so time is, is, a, like, time is the problem here. I'm so attracted to you. Okay, there's nobody else in the world like you to this person. What else? What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? All right. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So that's almost like that same energy. If somebody's thinking about you constantly, you're going to feel their their energy. You could be kind of like back and forth, nostalgic and stuff like that. And it's because they're, they're thinking about you. And you could be thinking about them, mirroring. All right. I wish I had treated you better. They know they fucked up. Okay. For some of you. Does that mean you have to take them back? No. Okay, so sometimes you have to come to terms with it and say, by, let bygones be bygones. We could be um, cordial and let things go, okay, when it's not something that's healthy, especially if you're going through domestic issues and stuff like that, because I do get a lot of calls, okay, with people that are dealing with that kind of stuff. So if you guys are dealing with domestic issues, this is not for you. Like, do not go back to this person, okay? Use your common sense. All right, so that's for someone here. I will wait for you for a sign from you. So you're waiting on a sign from them. They're waiting on a sign from you. Okay, so this makes perfect sense why this is the first card that comes out where you guys are both interested, but you're not talking. The talking is upside down. You see, you guys are not coming together. Okay, so for some of you, you guys need to talk and have closure and set this um, straight and and just kind of like let let it go. Okay, somebody could have ghosted the other in this in this situation, and that's the reason why there is no closure. That's for some of you. That's not for all of you. Okay, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Now we're gonna do another kind of like spread here. Let's see what this has. Angel guys, spirit guys, good little light for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All right, so you got here emotions. Look deep within your emotions, all right? So you guys could be, again, nostalgic. They could be nostalgic. They could be going through this as well, all right? So there's a lot of emotions here. There's a lot of pain. Maybe you guys suffered something together, even a death in the family, okay? Could have been um, significant that you guys suffered this together, all right? Or you guys are bonded through, like, some sort of traumatic, in, um, traumatic you know, situation or something like that. That's for some of you. That's not for all of you, okay? But you got here love, all right? Somebody here, love conquers all. You guys have unconditional love for this person. But they have unconditional love for you. Power, yeah. And it has to do a lot with power. This is like power driven. Somebody here wanted to take advantage, okay? Have the power of the relationship. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. Okay, so somebody could be like, doing some sort of magic or something like that to try to bring you guys back together or something like that okay so they could be doing fire magic so candle magic could be significant all right you got here attraction all right so um divine soul counterparts attraction transcends superficiality so this person could have been very superficial and they could be going through some sort of an awakening or vice versa you guys could be all right those people that are t are bonded the people that are meant to be together will be together at one point or another. 
if you guys are separated and you're dealing with a twin flame soulmate, soulmate, okay, you could have many soulmates in your life, but if you're dealing with somebody like that, okay, and you guys are marrying each other, you guys are both doing the healing work, okay, you guys are going to come back together. The infinity sign, you guys will meet again, all right? There's a union, a union of, defi of divine soul counterparts are is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it, okay? So when you least expect it, this person could reach out. When you least expect it, you're going to come back into union with this person. That's for some of you, you guys. Um, some of you are coming into terms with the ending of a situation, but at the same time, this is a reading for a whole lot of you. So, let's see. What do we got here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Spirit? Clear and precise messages for Aquarius. What's going on with my Aquas at this current moment? All right, so what's going on with the Aquarius in the current moment? this kind of moment all right so you have first art card coming out the death card yeah it needs an ending you're realizing it you're coming to terms with it the death card scorpio energy you could be dealing with a scorpio okay the death card talks about an ending a transformation you're going through a transformation all right at the end of the day you see the sun in the background all right there's going to be good coming out of this something has to everything has to end all right nothing is set in stone all right, the only thing in, in life that's certain is someone's death. Other than that, everything else is fair game. All right, so you're going definitely through a transformation. I'm going to go ahead and start clarifying right off the bat. So what's this death card in the current energy? What are we calling quits to? All right, you got the five of swords. Yeah, so somebody here... Um, is very envious of you. Somebody here wanted to end you. Okay, that's for some... I don't know what the hell you guys got going on here. But the Five of Swords with the Death card. Somebody could have passed on. There could be somebody um, who got, like, assaulted or murdered or something like that. What's this, what's this Five of Swords spirit? All right, you guys are ending something because this is like a third-party situation where somebody felt defeated. All right, these two broke up because of a third party. All right, that could be significant. And you're putting an end to anything that has to do with a third party. All right, for some of you, you guys are separating yourself from the people that are bullies that you know are no good for you. So like-minded individuals, surround yourself with like-minded individuals. All right, for some of you, you guys are going through like some sort of discrimination or something like racism. This could be racism as well. Okay, so something along those lines, all right, with a death card, you're calling, um, you're ending this, whatever this is. Okay, so what is this death card with the five of swords spirit? All right, the three of swords in the reverse. You guys are letting go of all the backstab betrayal. You guys are putting an end to this relationship. Okay, the third party situation, there was too much betrayal and there was too much envy. All right, and yes, your significant other could envy you. All right, there was too much envy and too much jealousy here to make this go right. Okay, so three of swords in the reverse. You're letting go of this heartbreak. Okay, this is like being placed in a third party situation. Third parties don't necessarily have to be the other woman. They don't necessarily have to be um, another person or anything like that. But quite honestly, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right here. You see this person holding three swords. That's the three of swords. They're the cause of this situation. But at the end of the day, they, your person could have been very stupid and they weren't paying attention. So that's on them, okay? And now you're releasing, you're releasing it. You're releasing the pain, you're releasing the hurt, okay? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. This person could stay awake thinking about how, how fucked up they were to, towards you, how they got with a group of people to try to like bully you, okay? So somebody here is definitely in some sort of regret here. What's this Three of Swords in the reverse? Right, Emperor, Aries energy, baby daddy energy. You could be dealing with a baby daddy. Okay, so you guys are bossing up. This is a person who is a leader. People pay attention to this person. Um, with the Emperor showing up, you got here somebody who bosses up. It could be a boss figure. Okay, so for some of you, you're dealing with a boss figure here. All right, or a um, 
a person of authority it could be it could even be your father okay so for some of you but with the three of swords with that five of swords this could be somebody your baby daddy all right so baby daddy baby mama sorry about that guys all right so what's the blockages for for the aquariuses at this time what are the blockages the blockages is somebody coming in with an offer of love okay you keep taking offers of love this person's in love with the idea of love not really giving love okay there's an offer that could be coming in all right cancer pisces scorpio that could be a blockage here for some of you you guys are meant to be alone right now all right so maybe you guys don't want to hear that but yeah you're meant to be alone because you're doing the inner work you're doing the healing work okay so what's this knight of cups with the blockage as a blockage For some of you, there, there could have been somebody that was new, something new that came through. They could have come in like, um, hey, I want to take you out. I want to, I want to, um, you know, it was new love. Okay, new love. Something about new love. A new love offer of some sort. Okay, an emotional tie of some sort with the three of wands. You're realizing that you had to let this go. Okay, so your blockages, okay, you guys could be looking at land, but there's some sort of blockage here, okay, where you cannot buy it. You're waiting on your ships to come in, okay, your ships are coming in, all right? For some of you, this was not the person that you were supposed to be with. For some of you, this person was supposed to be a catalyst for your growth. You're over here expanding and growing, okay? So Knight of Cups, that is a blockage, so a love offer that could be coming in could be a blockage here. Clarify that three of wands. Could have been an Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for some of you. What is that? Three of wands with a ten of swords. Yeah, backstab, betrayed. Okay, somebody who hit rock bottom. All right, for some of you, <laughs> if anybody comes in with a love offer and stuff like that, you're very weary about it. You're like, eh, let me think about it. Let me, let me see if there's going to be any growth. Okay, if you don't see growth with that shit, you end it. You don't even tell them. Okay, some of you could be in that kind of energy with the swords. There's no communication. Communication could be a problem, right? It could be a, a problem for you guys too. Like um, learning to communicate a little bit better could be significant, All right? Um, all right, what is... In your foundation what is in your foundation what's going on five of Pentacles somebody who left you out in the cold okay so something is stemming from that all right somebody who left you out in the cold financial hardships what is this five of Pentacles in the foundation all right I feel like maybe you're starting to regain everything that was lost you guys have an opportunity to come back all right and take a leap of faith with the aquarius energy all right the full energy is aquarius all right so you're taking a leap of faith into the unknown okay for some of you you're gaining you're regaining everything that was lost you're focusing on you all right for some of you you're the one ghosting somebody and somebody's heartbroken <laughs> um because of it some of you might have like a, a dog that's your loyal companion and that's it for some of you all right, you like animals more than you like um, people. <laughs> With the fool showing up, clarify the fool. I feel like you guys could have been in a per in a predicament, okay, where you lost everything. Even family gave you their back, okay, and you took this leap of faith, and now you're going in the right direction. Okay, for some of you taking this leap of faith, you're going to find your Ten of Cups. This could be like moving somewhere at a distance. Okay, somebody could say XOXO, all right, because I have the X, 10, and then the O, XOXO. Or should I put it this way in your case? Yeah, XOXO. So something about XOXO, hugs and kisses. All right, you guys are focused on family. For some of you, you guys could have moved towards family. All right, for some of you, you guys are getting into a relationship where it's a blended family, where this person, your other person has a family, and you have a family blending together. 
okay um could be like um different cultures or something like that ideological differences could be significant all right what is um in the recent past for my aquas what happened in the recent past All right, the four of pentacles. You guys could have been saving money. All right, some of you could have moved in with family to save money. That's not for all of you. That's for some of you. Okay, or you're helping family with money. All right, this is also talking about greed. All right, financial constraints as well with the four of pentacles. In, case, in, in a person, that could be a person who is very possessive. You're not letting go of something that you need to let go of. Okay, so this could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a person who's like that. What is this? In the recent past, you're either holding on to someone or you're not letting go of them or they're holding on to you and they're not letting go of you, which is causing all this transformation. You know, it's causing all this to kind of like put you in the right path where spirit wants to put you. I'm surprised you haven't gotten the judgment. All right, the moon, Cancerian energy. All right, so deceptive energy. So this is you holding on to like sort of uh, lies or something like that. Holding on to a Cancer, holding on to a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's a lot of lies and illusions here. All right, so for some of you, the reason why you held on so long is because you were under some sort of an illusion that this was going to work out, but no, it's not. All right, these two dogs, there's a tame dog, there's a feral dog. One of these people is like... um. A little abrasive when it comes to communication somewhat of a liar all right what's the moon however something hidden came to light okay because the moon illuminates the darkness what's this moon all right somebody could have been um somebody could have been like having sex with multiple people okay with the knight of wands sorry the knight of wands okay so knight of wands is somebody who's very fickle somebody who comes in for a good time not a long time somebody who is a player all right for some of you you guys were holding on to this person but you realize something so what's hidden came to light all right so for some of you you guys this person is not holding on to you because they have some sort of like sexual energy connection to you okay so if you guys continue giving your sex or your body to somebody Okay, like having sex is a ritual. Having sex, like this person could be like, oh, I'm wishing on you and wishing that you could never be with anybody else but me and stuff like that. That's a ritual. That's a spell. Okay, so for some of you, you guys are realizing that shit. You guys are putting things into action. Okay, some of you are in the dating scene, but you don't like it. All right, with the Knight of Wands and the Moon, there's too many lies. There's too many deception. Deception. There's too many sicknesses out there. Okay, that's for some of you. Four of uh pentacles also talks about money pinching okay so you could be saving money for a rainy day you guys could have been like opening up a new account to save money or something like that that could be significant what's on your mind all right the seven of pentacles that talks about patience all right you're starting to see the fruits of your labor somebody some of you could be in a seven year cycle here all right you got the five of pentacles well you got six pentacles on this side. You got one pentacle here. So six years could be significant. And then out of those six, sorry, seven years, out of those seven years, one good year could have been significant <coughs> or whatnot. Okay, so <clears throat> with the seven of pentacles, that talks about you um, starting to see the fruits of your labor as well. So have patience. What is the seven of pentacles on your mind? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you have been waiting on your person and your person has been waiting on you. Okay, 7-7. Seven, seven, 77 could be significant. Okay, so you got 7 of Wands. Somebody is definitely very defensive here. Okay, somebody wakes up in the middle of the of the day kind of like, oh shit, I need to be, I'm gonna, like in a hurry or something like that. All right, so some, someone here, see, shoes could be significant. This person wears this shoe and then another shoe. They're different types of shoes because they come out in a hurry and they're like, help, come at me, bro. I'm ready to defend myself at all times. You guys are like literally protecting yourselves at this time. Okay, seven of wands. Seven of wands is setting healthy boundaries left and right. All right, you got the judgment. This is by your ancestors. Your ancestors are telling you what to do. So don't dismiss intuitive downloads at this time. Okay, with the seven of wands, seven of pentacles. All right, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. For some of you, you're starting to see that you are protecting yourself. Or you're going to see that whatever return to sender you sent out or something like that, you're going to see the change in the other person or something like that. It's almost like spirit is going to let you see something. 
Okay, um, what is in the near future? In the near future, Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. What's this Ace of Wands spirit? Aries Leo Sag energy. Okay, you guys could be like with a judgment. You guys are going through a new awakening of some sort. Okay, so you guys are awakening to something. All right, judgment. What is this judgment with the Ace of Wands spirit? With the hang one, Pisces. All right, so with the judgment, this is this could be your person. Okay, somebody has some sort of like sexually transmitted disease. There's an awakening. There's a red alert. Okay, almost like an alert. Okay, a red flag. Okay, of some sort. All right, this person could be like holding off. Okay, because they might have some sort of sexual um, STD or something like that. That could be significant. All right, for some of you, their karma is something like that along those lines. Okay, with the hang one, you had to sacrifice something in order to get in something else. You guys are cutting your losses here with the hangman in the reverse. I mean, I'm sorry, the hangman. Okay, you guys are just kind of, kind of like cutting free, cutting loose from something. Could be a Pisces, could be a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, judgment. You guys are calling judgment on someone. All right, you've gained some sort of breakthrough clarity of some sort and you're loving yourself with the judgment especially self-awareness self-love okay you guys are like focused on you the judgment also talks about a renewal of some sort so somebody here is realizing like renewing uh, a reconciliation of some sort is going to lead to stagnity where you cannot get out of something the number four could be significant you guys could be seeing four 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 What's this judgment with the two of wands? Somebody could be at a distance or this is your ancestors pushing this person away from you, um, pushing them like to to stay away from you so that you don't fall back into their their narcissistic ways or something like that. For some of you, you guys are traveling. You guys are calling judgment on something and you're traveling or leaving something behind. You see how this wand over here is like shackled, right? You're leaving this behind. You got a, a smaller wand that has more growth, okay? With the with the world in your hands, all right? Some of you could be going to travel or be at a distance from someone, all right? So going on vacation to go write, that could be significant. For some of you, you guys are experiencing writer's block with that hangman and the ace of wands and the judgment. So you guys need like a change of scenery so you guys could get back into it. All right. So what's in your environment? That was going to come out. King, queen of swords. So you're cutting people off left and right. What is in your environment? All right. You have a lot in your plate. You're juggling. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I cut them off? Should I not? Okay, this is like an emotional roller coaster too. However, this is talking about pentacles. You guys could be in a like kind of like money's coming in, money's coming out. You guys are like transactions or in and out. Okay, something about that could be significant. All right, but you guys are doing the juggling act. You're trying to balance something. What is this two of Capricorn energy? What is this two of pentacles in your environment? All right, so some of you like, should I stay in this job? Should I leave it? Should I go to church? Should I stop going to this church? All right, the the should I be in this relationship? Should I leave this relationship? Okay, long term commitment. Should I have traditional beliefs? Should I be more into conforming to society's rules? So that's kind of like the 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 juggling act that you got going on. Taurus energy as well with the Hierophant. All right, some of you, you guys are professors or teachers or healers of some sort. Okay, you guys could be going to a therapist or a healer or a professor or going to a church. Okay, or something. What's this Hierophant? Hierophant talks about long-term commitment. So some of you are kind of like, mm, should I be in this long-term commitment? Should I not? Should I should I even uh, consider another long-term commitment? You know, because nowadays the world is completely different. Yeah, with the Four of Wands, this is a marriage. All right, so for some of you, you guys know who your twin soulmate, your twin flame, your twin, twin soulmate is. Okay, who your twin flame is, who your person is, who you're meant to stay with. Okay, for some of you, you guys are staying alone. 
okay, until you find that, all right, there's some sort of good news. Somebody could be getting married here, all right, so you guys could be meeting somebody in like a, in a wedding or in a celebration of some sort. For some of you, you guys are graduating something, all right, because the Four of Wands does talk about graduation as well. Some of you are considering, should I stay in this marriage? Should I let it go? What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Okay, you got the Four of Swords. Okay, so you guys need to rest. All right, you guys are putting something to rest. Some of you are putting something to rest. But that talks about healing energy. You could be, like, overwhelmed with anxiety or something like that. So you guys need to take a chance. Take, like, a... I don't know why I was going to say take a chance on something. But the Four of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I feel like you need to um, rest or retreat or go somewhere. Somebody could work with glasses. I don't know why. What's this Four of Swords in the outcome? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. All right, so a new passion, a new beginning, a new beginning, a new opportunity. All right, for some some of you, you're putting something to rest, and now a new opportunity is going to come in. But you had to put something to rest. This could also talk about a, a ring of some sort. Again, 1111 could be significant. Okay, I don't know if I said that. 444 could be significant. All right, so Ace of Pentacles. This is like a new opportunity for some of you. Okay, what's this Ace of Pentacles? What does this Ace of Pentacles have to do with? All right, King of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands. What's the Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands? Somebody could be mad at your growth or whatever it is that you got going on. For some of you, you guys don't have to clock in or out, and that pisses somebody off. This King of Wands, okay, you see their fist? They're like, fuck. They're mad. Okay, King of Wands is somebody who is like a leader of some sort. For some of you, you guys are going to be a leader. Very determined, looking good. This is like daddy with a big wand, all right, for some of you. What is this? King of Wands with Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming in with a ring for some of you. That's not for all of you, but for some of you. What's this King of Wands with the Ace of, yeah, the Sun? Okay, for some of you, you guys are giving, you guys are going to get pregnant. <laughs> Quick. Um, with the Sun, King of Wands. Some of you could be pregnant, all right, from this person who was could be a boss figure or something like that but at the end at the end of the day this person is non-committal okay they look good they're always looking good or something like that for some of you you guys could have exposed somebody all right and they're really mad about it okay that could be significant because the sun talks about exposure or something but yeah for some of you here you guys are going to be very happy in your outcome okay what's the sun clarify the sun leo energy all right, the sun with the tower is going to be all of a sudden. Okay, for some of you, there's going to be something that comes out, all right, all of a sudden about someone. Could be in the news or something like that. That could be significant. All right, the tower. What's this tower? Scorpio energy. What's this tower? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't believe that this is, this is bad. This is a bad tower. It has to do with work for some of you, okay? Something that you're working on, all right? For some of you, you guys are exposing something on someone, or you guys are just focused on work, and you're very, very happy. And for some of you, your income is starting to, like, go back up, okay? Because this king of wands is right here in the middle. This king of wands is kind of, like, here for a good time, not a long time. This person is just going to be a catalyst for your growth, okay? So that's for some of you. All right, you guys could be very determined in your job. This is talking about self-confidence as well, so you guys could be very confident at this time with the sun. And whatever it is that you're saying, whatever it is that you're exposing, you guys know the truth about something. That's for some of you. All right, anything else, Spirit? Right, the devil you could be dealing with a capricorn okay so that talks about an industry of some sort for some of you there could be like an industry that's falling down empire falling down mm -hmm. london has fallen i don't know anyway um the devil 
Okay, that talks about that's Capricorn energy. That's obsessive energy. So somebody could be very obsessed with you. What's this devil? All right, you guys could be like dealing with addictions or something like that, and you're letting that shit go. All right, if you guys are not letting it go, let it go. It's not good for you. <laughs> Please hit that like, share, subscribe. What's the devil? The devil with the eight of swords somebody is definitely in a mental prison or in some sort of spiritual jail all right feels trapped in a situation could be a capricorn somebody could have like binded you okay so that you cannot move forward all right what else spirit what is this eight of swords all right yeah with the sagittarius energy the temperance so you're bringing balance and harmony into this you're an earth angel and you got an earth angel with the devil here so whoever this person is they're very obsessive Okay, they want to keep you trapped at all times, blindfolded without you seeing the truth. Okay, so that you cannot bring balance and harmony into your life. Okay, so what is... Give me some advice. Advice. You need to make a decision. Okay, you're blindfolded with the ability to remove that blindfold, see things for what they truly are. They're asking of you at this time. It's almost like your angels are working in your favor. Archangel Michael, I keep hearing that. Archangel Michael has to do with return to sender. So you guys could have done a return to sender. Okay, but two of swords, this is you balancing something out. Okay, finding, making a decision finally. Okay, taking the blindfold off, putting one sword down, taking the blindfold off, working smart. Okay, making that decision that you need to make. What is this two of swords? All right, yeah. Something is rushing in. All right, you guys could be rushing in. This is like a decision. You're finally making this decision, okay, because I'm asking for advice, and the Two of Swords is talking about you have to make a decision, all right, so that decision's coming in quickly, it's gonna be hasty, so from one day to another, you're gonna be like, fuck this, I hate this person, or whatever, all right, at the same time, don't hate the person, heal, okay, they're meant to make you go through a growth spurt, think of it that way, if this is happening um, for you, this is not happening to you, okay, so... Anything else, Spirit? All right, don't act on your impulse, okay? Not everything that shines is gold, all right? So you guys could have a lot of options coming in soon, and you guys need to make... You need to be smart about it, because within those, op within those options, there's going to be temptation. There's going to be a lot of confusion, okay? So be mindful of your thoughts as well. All right, that talks about hallucinations as well. So some of you could be like um, taking something. I don't know. But be careful with what, what you're putting in your Be careful what you're putting in your mouth. All right, that's for some of you. All right, be careful what you're drinking. All right, so there's a lot of cups here. What's the Seven of Swords? Well, I mean, the Seven of Cups. And I was going to say the Seven of Swords. So that could be somebody who's conniving Aquarius energy. All right, so somebody who's conniving, deceitful, a liar, somebody who could actually put something in your drink. All right, so somebody who's coming in to steal, that could be significant. You got the nine of cups. You want to have your cake and eat it too. Some of you are self-indulging, like overindulging in something. Okay, but at the end of the day, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're sitting there in your throne. That could be talking about... um. That could be talking about rewards, like feeling recognized and stuff like that. All right. For some of you, you guys are returning back to sender. You got the queen of wands in the reverse. Somebody is like very vicious or very abusive. Okay, you're not dealing with that. You're moving away from this person, moving into calmer waters with the with the six of swords in the, in the bottom of the deck. You got the six of swords and the six of wands, Leo energy. All right, you're going to be very victorious. For some of you, you guys are in the public eye. All right, you're the wounded warrior. All right, you've gone through the ringer and back. You've built this wall. All right, you couldn't see through it. You couldn't see through a lot, all right, of all these burdens, but you managed to walk away from what no longer served you, okay? You became the magician and you started kind of like manifesting things into reality. You became very reliable as well. You have the, the willpower to kind of like put things in order, all right? It's a time for you to go out and celebrate, okay? It's a time for you to go out and have a drink and kind of like just, you know, be re kind of like rest, all right? So for some of you, there's a lot of sense. For some of you, you guys are priests, high priests, all right? Tarot readers or something like that, magicians of some sort. Okay, with the Three of Cups, I, I, you guys need to kind of like go out. 
right? Get out of isolation, the hermit, all right? Kind of like get out of your comfort zone. That's for some of you. All right, so that's what I got for you, Aqua. I hope you like your reading. Okay, I noticed that this is starting to glitch, so I don't want to fuck it up where I have to do a part one and a part two. So I'm going to leave this here, all right? If you guys want to book a personal with me, please check the description box below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. All right, peace out. Wishing you the very best.